one time is that first thing they cut is their training budget. Why do you think it's important to invest in employee training? In the well, I think it goes to the heart of what we talked about in the very beginning, which is if you don't have your people in the right roles and the right place at the right time, almost nothing else you do will be successful. And the add-on to that is, and I, I said it earlier a little bit, is that you have to develop those people. You have to. What you you don't take an active an active role in their career and encourage them to do so, and that includes having a training plan and learning what it is that you need to, to grow, um, then you will not be successful. And so what you're saying doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I think a lot of companies and organizations, when bad times hit, they tend to you know, recoil. This is an interesting thing I've seen in different places, um, different groups and different, in fact, different cultures react differently, right? Some people uh, react to tough times by just you know, it's the siege mentality. Okay, close the doors, you know, cut all the costs. We're just gonna ride it out until the storm passes. Um, and, and I think that if you do only that, you actually create a huge problem for yourself because it's the great organizations and companies that invest when it's the hardest to do so and when no one else is. And, and so I, I believe that um, you just, it, to me it's not a, it's not a variable cost, and really, when I think about it. I, I know it's in the accounting world it's considered a variable cost, but I consider it a fixed cost, that you need to have that investment going on just as you would invest in keeping the lights on in your facility. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of people believe that, nor do they live by that, but, um, but I, I, uh, I do, and it's, it's, it's absolutely correct, I think what you're saying.